So what I've always said is that the art of pranayama, the art of yoga, is the art of eventually learning how to breathe less than normal. Now normal breathing is about five liters every minute. So it's not wrong to actually breathe more than normal in part of your practice, but you have to then breathe less than normal afterwards. And one of the exercises that's um, often taught is something which some teachers will call kapalabhati, where you breathe faster than normal. This is called a kriya, and a kriya is a type of cleansing exercise. So if I breathe faster than normal, like this for example, That will actually take more air than normal over a shorter period of time. Now, so what I'm doing is I'm taking about three or four liters of air in every breath, and I'm doing mainly abdominal breathing where you see my abdomen pulsate like a wave. I exhale from my lower abdomen, then the upper, I inhale from lower, then the upper. Now, I do this for a few times. What it does is it blows off all the carbon dioxide in my body. And that blowing off of the carbon dioxide makes my body a little bit more alkaline because I have less carbon dioxide, less carbonic acid. So less acid means more alkaline. And in a way then, this can clean my body because sometimes people's bodies are too acidic and this can make you more alkaline. But if you become too alkaline, it becomes a problem. With too much breathing, too much alkalinity, your nervous system becomes very jittery and frail. You, become, you get less oxygen to your brain because blood vessels to the brain shrink. And you get less oxygen transfer from your lungs to the rest of the body because the bronchial tubes will shrink as well. Also, you get less delivery of oxygen to your cells because via the Bohr effect, you require the presence of acidity, not alkalinity, to transfer oxygen from oxyhemoglobin into your cells. So although getting rid of acidity by doing this alkaline, faster than normal, deeper than normal breathing can help you become less acid, it may not help you in the long run if you're already not very, very acidic. So one of the exercises that counters this is an exercise called Nauli. And Nauli is done on the exhalation retention. It means at that time you'll be breathing not at all, so actually breathing less than normal. And what I'm going to do is expand the chest as if I would if I'm breathing into my chest and then tighten my abdomen in the same way that I would if I walked and did a half sit up and did uh, the exhalation of the abdomen, exhalation uh, as I would if I'm exhaling to my abdomen. So it ends up looking something like this. And I did all that by holding the breath out. But the thing is, if you learn how to do both exercises at the same time, then you can magnify and do both extremes. The first exercise, breathing more than normal, will make me more alkaline. The second exercise, another kriya, or cleansing process, which is nauli, or rolling the abdomen, makes me more acidic. So if I breathe more than normal at first, I'll be able to do nauli a lot easier afterwards. So in this next exercise, I'm going to do faster than normal breathing, making me more alkaline, and then less than normal breathing, making me more acidic. And at the end, the net result is I would have breathed slightly less than normal and be left with a very balanced, neutral, natural nervous system, and blood flow would have taken place. It makes you quite hot, but you should feel warm and calm at the same time. Generally, if I do faster than normal breathing for four or five minutes, I will either hold my breath out for up to three minutes or I can hold my breath in for up to six minutes. In this exercise I'll be holding my breath out but not that long because I'll also be exercising at the same time. So the movements I make in my abdomen are a little bit like going for a jog. So you can think of me now when I hold my breath out it'll be like I'm holding the breath out and running and you'll see the action of the spinal muscle muscles. So I'll do a few deeper than normal breaths at first and then hold my breath out.
And now I'm left feeling very balanced, very warm, and very much at peace. And this is a good place to begin a meditative practice.